Question number 20. We are told a water vendor has a tank of capacity 18,900 liters. The tank is uh, being filled with water from two pipes A and B which are closed immediately when the tank is full. Water flows at the rate of 150,000 centimeter cube per minute uh, through pipe A and 1,200,000 uh, 120,000 centimeter cube per minute through B. Uh, if tank, if the tank is empty and the two pipes are opened at the same time, calculate the time it takes to fill the tank. So I'm going to do this question part by part because of the limited space I have. So let me start with that. One, what you need to know. Uh, okay, we are given A is supplying water under a rate of 150,000 centimeter cube per minute uh, now what you need to know is that uh, a thousand centimeter cube is equals to uh, one liter so this is equivalent to one 150 you divide by a thousand uh, so this will be 150 liters per minute uh, pipe B uh, we have uh, 120 a thousand centimeter cube per minute and uh, this when you, you do the same you divide by a thousand you get this will supply water at 120 liters per uh, minute so uh, what we say here is that uh, in one minute in one minute uh, we, we add a plus b and that means that uh, it is 150 uh, plus 120 uh, meaning that they supply 270 liters per minute uh, so for us to be able to time the to know the time it takes to fill the tank at uh, the volume of the tank we have been given here uh, so we say time to fill uh, time to fill the tank Uh, the tank is equal to a uh, volume of tank we divide by a uh, volume uh, per minute that is the amount that is this is minute uh, that is the, ta the volume that is filled in uh, one minute and therefore the volume of the tank is 1,000 uh, that is 18,900 we divide by the the number of liters that the pipe supply in uh, in uh, one minute so this is going to give you 70 minutes which is equals to one hour and 10 minutes so that I will do that part A of that uh, so let's go to part B and see how we are going to solve that Part B of this question, we are, say, we are told, on a certain day, the vendor opened the two pipes A and B to fill the empty tank. After 25 minutes, he opened the outlet tap to supply water to his customer, customers at an average rate of 20 liters per minute. Calculate the time it took to fill the tank on that day. Uh, so we have, let's have a look at uh, B, uh, Roman number one. Uh, so what we do here is that uh, since he opened the two taps for 25 minutes so we can say in 25 minutes what was the volume that uh, got into the tank uh, volume is equals to uh, 25 multiplied by the pipes were uh, supplying at the rate of 200 uh, liters per minute as we have seen in part a so this is going to give you uh, 6,750 uh, liters so that is the water that will be in the, ta in the tank uh, since the volume of the tank is 18,900 uh, so we can say uh, balance uh, volume to fill that is after we are going to, 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 to subtract uh, the total volume of the tank 18,900 
u minus what now was in the tank which is 6050 liters so this is going to give you uh, the balance is 12,150 liters so this is what is uh, to be filled uh, uh, by, uh, by the, the, the pipe now the water out he is supplying water and 20 liters at 20 liters per minute uh, so we can say water uh, let's change that uh, we can say uh, water out is equals to 20 liters per minute uh, the water supply to the customer so water retained uh, from what is since the two pipes are supplying 270 liters per minute uh, so water retained in the tank is equals to uh, we say 270 we minus 20 and that will give us 250 liters uh, so that is the water that is uh, that is retained when, when he supplies uh, the the water to the customer so to get time uh, so we get say time is equals to the balance that was to be filled that is 12 of this balance that is 12,150 liters you divide by what is being retained after supplying 20 liters of water to the customer so you divide by 20 that not 20 but 250 250 and when you divide that you will be able to get uh, 48.6 uh, these are minutes uh, and uh, the the tank he had opened the two taps for 25 uh, minutes so we can say the total time taken to fill the tank total time is equals to taken to fill the tank is 25 you add to uh, 48 point 48.6 and this is going to give you uh, 73.6 uh, uh, minutes so that is the time uh, that you they take to fill the tank you can convert that to hours and that I think should give you uh, let me write here that should give you uh, take one hour and uh, that in point six minutes so that is but when you get up to here then uh, you are okay you should be able to get a mark and this you get uh, you get one mark for the answer there uh, you get one mark there for getting uh, that is dividing time uh, you get uh, you get one mark here that is water out so you'll be able to get the, the, the one mark for that balance and calculating the volume in this case so that is how the marks will be distributed part b roman number two we are told the, the vendor supplied a total of 542 uh, jerrycans each containing 25 liters of water on that day if the water that remained in the tank was 6300 liters calculate in liters the amount of water wasted in part in part b roman number one we have seen that the the, the pipe supplied water for a total of 73.6 minutes so we can say water in is equals to in the tank is equals to the the, the pipes were supplying at a rate of 270 liters per minute you sub, you multiply by 73.6 and that should give you 19 uh, 8,872 uh, liters uh, now once you get that uh, we can calculate uh, uh, water, water supplied is equal to we say it is 542 jerrycans each jerrycan was 25 liters so this is equal to 13,550 uh, liters uh, from there we say water retained retained 
is equal to 6,300 uh, liters. So we can be able to calculate water wasted. Water wasted is equal to the total water supplied, eight, 19,872. Uh, you minus, uh, you add the 13,550 uh, plus 6,000. I don't 6,000, that is 6,300 liters. That is the water that was retained. And when you work out that, you should be able to get uh, it, the balance is 22. So 22 liters is the amount of water that was wasted uh, during that day. So that is how you work out that question. Uh, you get three marks. So you'll be able to get uh, uh, one mark for one mark for getting the total uh, then you have uh, the amount of water supplied and then you have uh, the answer here so that those are three marks get more of this uh, subscribe to this channel then click this icon to get the notification whenever I produce a new video you can call or whatsapp me if you have any questions or you want to book an online class